Hello, welcome to TC Josh, my name is Logan Zero. I'm back in again once again with this Union Arena uh, video. Well, uh, I'm gonna, you know, talk about a little bit about uh, EX Burst. It's pretty cool, nice resource, but also uh, there's another one that I use called Geek Stack. They have uh, all the Union Arena decks, they also have One Piece, they also have Dragon Ball. So if you want to build decks off of those as well, you can use these two resources. This is what I've been using, kind of like look through decks. And uh, I like EX Burst just because it has tournament results. Geek Stack definitely just cleaner looking, and you know, you can build your deck, do all that stuff. It shows the alt arts of them too when building, so it's pretty nice. But uh, yeah, gonna use EX Burst here. I'm gonna show you. Uh, a deck I'm extremely excited for, which is Blue Lock. So, yeah, HAD series. Uh, we're going to be building a blue Blue Lock because, I mean, just makes sense, right? Or no, not blue. Sorry. Red Blue Lock. What is wrong with me? I'm already messing up here. Uh, yeah, so deck is going to be focused on Rin. Rin is the boss monster of the deck. Uh, if you have a card with a face down card, that's one of the mechanics of Blue Locks. Pretty cool. Uh, he is two less to to play a raid onto, so instead of being an eight, he's a six. Really good, and it's basically just passing the ball back and forth with the card effects. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. I like the mechanic and everything. Rin on play. Uh, he gets impact for the turn. And if there's a face down card uh, underneath this character, you can retire something. So he's another removal card. Really strong. Absolutely a great card to be playing in the deck. And you, he is going to. I'm going to put the pretty one. You're going to put four of those ones in there, of course. Absolutely got to have them. Uh, you're also going to be playing uh, Lube Ryu. He is a step. Steps really good. Also, is a zero cost, so you can put him out, swing him, bring him back if you feel like. Very good card, and it is a zero, so it is a turn one play. You'll always be looking for it. So that is a four as well. There's also did this uh, lube who is a step on one, on play. Draw one card. Place one card from your hand outside area. If there's no face down cards underneath. You can put that card underneath a character, which is really good for the deck because that's kind of a mechanic you want to do. He's also a two energy maker, so you absolutely want to have four of that as well. Just such a good card. Um, the raid lube I do play also just because it is a good draw one, play a red one cost. So you get to just play a little guy that, hey, you might not have had an action point to play for whatever reason. You know, you want to play, like, uh, you want to play one of the low-cost lubes, you want to play, uh, what is, where is he at, where is he at? You want to play, I don't know, uh, your, your Bachiras, you know, just so you have something on the board in order to raid into, just in case your opponent swings at you and you, you don't get it. Uh, I don't, pl uh, this one. Actually, I want to put this one in there because it looks pretty. So we're going to put two of those in there. Uh, yes. <laughs> I was looking at these, and it's the exact same pose, but this is like the full art of it. But yeah, uh, uh, you have you have uh, Say, who is look seven cards, reveal a field card. Such a good card for the deck, and he's a 4K swing. It's pretty nasty. Seven cards is pretty good. Um, I only play three of them, but that's only because uh, it just feels clunky if you do play it more. Uh, I'm going to put, actually, no, I want the pretty one. I want the pretty one. Put the pretty one in there. <laughs> Very nice. Um, zero cost Rin is absolutely a four. It's a zero cost. And if uh, there's a face down card underneath him, that's this is part of the combo that you do with it, is that you'll have this guy out. He'll put a card underneath him or get a card underneath him. He'll be uh, extra energy, and then you can raid onto him with Rin onto this one. So it's cheaper. So you had six, it turns to four, but it's because you already had the six on there. And it's just such a such a good, good, good combo. I don't know why I keep looking at the impact one, the raid one. But yeah, uh, a four cost, a four, because you have to have four zeros. Of course you do. Um, 
We have another Rin, who is a searcher, search top five, reveal five, uh, a real deal card with five energy or higher, put it at the bottom. Um, if you added card, place one card in the outside area. It's okay, you definitely want it. He is also a color who has a trigger of KOing or retiring a frontline character with 25 or less BP. Really good card. Absolutely played for. And then we have the Impact Rin, just a really good game ending card, just because a 5 cost impact is super good. Impact is just a, a nutty effect. Um, when you guys start building, you're going to want to build, if you're not building some aggro, you're going to want to build stuff that has impact negate, or you're going to get blown out by decks with a lot of impact in it. Um, playing just three of him. Actually, is this one? Yeah, I want that. That's nice. Put the pretty one in there. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to delete this anyways. But, you know, how to put the pretty cards in. Put the pretty cards in, of course. Uh, we got Bachira. Bachira, super cute. Best best boy, right? Four Bachiras. It's a zero cost. You absolutely just want it. You just want to see them. Uh, you have the two cost Bachira returns of one. You play two of them, at least. It's a good just in case you uh, just in case you don't see your fields. Um, we got the so the on play Bachra um, main move a card super good. I kind of I really wish you could use effects during battles because this deck would be so OTK if you could, and I'll show you why with the next Bachra. So four of him absolutely. So the boss second boss of the deck is the other Bachra. This guy is ridiculous. So all main, you can move a card underneath him, and then you give a card double attack. So you can give himself double attack, every character double attack, as long as he has the ball. Everybody gets double attack, and he can move the, car, the ball around wherever he wants at any time. It's kind of nutty. But if you could activate this effect during a battle, and you could move him, and you have multiple of him, and you just move the ball around, it's crazy. It'd be broken because you could it just yeah just nutty nutty but that's probably why <laughs> they don't have you can't use effects during uh battles four of them has to have it have to have it and then you have battlefield battlefield is a field spell or a field card double energy move uh, put a card underneath the character move the card around such a good card two energy makes it so easy to uh get all these big boys out on the field and then you have a vertical direct shot it's the removal card and you have to have it uh, it's becomes better when you have ran out so yeah 100 percent needed card in the deck but yeah this is the deck i am most excited to play uh and i i know i put the shiny cards i'm hunting for them i will be hunting for all the shiny cards of these i will so uh, when these come out and uh, it, you guys see my videos and you pull any of these, hit me up so I can get them from you because I want my my whole deck foil. Um, let's see if Geek Stack has it. Uh, some of the cards, color red. Um, some of the cards will have alt arts, kind of like how the vertical shot does, has like the regular art. And then this one's like a silver bordered. Uh, some of these, I don't know if they're going to be doing it here in English hopefully they do I think it might be uh, is it the set after let's go back it's doo -doo -doo, what is it Dr. Stone is Dr. Stone the one that they do they started doing that in um they made it so that no the, who has it no I could have sworn it was in blue lock maybe not but uh they have it just so like no, it's in JJK, right? They have it in here. Yeah, we're like, these cards have borders that are just different from just the regular ones, you know? I hope that they do this in English as well, but with, like, every deck or every set. Obviously, JJK is has it. I think they need to do it for all of them because there's supposed to be some, but... Yeah, look at these cards. Beautiful. Blue Lock, so good. Um, not a super meta competitive deck, just because it's got some consistency problems, but very fun, very powerful. Um, 
yeah, I will be going over Code Geass next in my next video. I just wanted to get this out because I'm super excited for Blue Lock. I wanted to show you guys these cool resources that I use in order to get uh, decks built and everything so I can look at all the cards, check them all out because I know I saw some people asking about like, hey, what is this? What is that? Uh, also, um, color, four color, four special final. <laughs> no four finals. I don't play finals. It's kind of crazy. Um, but if I did, it's just the heal one card like uh, like you always do. This deck just it's turbo aggro it's red that's what the red decks just all do but yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys are excited as much excited as i am for the game um but yeah let me know down below what deck you would like me to build a deck for uh, what set i'm gonna start be looking at black clover as well and attack on titan both of them i just look exciting and fun i know these are both probably going to be till the end of the year before we get them same with blue lock probably but super excited to have them let me know what you guys are excited for and keep collecting shiny cardboard keep collecting shiny cards and until next time i will smell you later